Good evening, everybody, and blessed be. This is your host, Aries Starwind, and welcome to the very first episode of The Community Coven, where we can all come together and pretty much share our stories on how witchcraft has um, played a, a major role in each of our lives. And um, whether you are a follower of Wicca or, you know, any, any type of other witchcraft path, um, this is a place where we can come together and kind of share our stories on um, the effects that it's had on our lives. Um, you know, that includes negative as well as the good. And it's a place where we can feel comfortable to, um, you know, just just come together as a community and, um, you know, feel a, a sense of camaraderie and a sense of family. And we can share our stories together. And um, basically what I want to do is I want to share everyone else's story who's willing to share their stories, of course. And uh, this will um, this will happen by uh, if you want to send me uh, your stories on how witchcraft and um, how paganism in general has just uh, played a part in your life. So I figured we would start off with my story. Um, so basically, I attended Catholic school from middle school through high school. I grew up in a family that wasn't necessarily religious, and um, it gave me an opportunity personally to pretty much find out who I was on my own, which was great. And I think that uh, attending Catholic school was probably the best thing that ever happened to me, as crazy as that may sound. And you'll understand why as the story goes on. So again, I was I grew up not in a religious household. Uh, I basically attended Catholic school because my parents wanted me to attend uh, this, the, the Catholic school in my community rather than the public school. So I can basically get a, um, a more, uh, a better education than probably I would have gotten at my local public school, which ended up being true. I definitely feel like the, the standards of the education I received at Catholic school were pretty top-notch and I thank my parents for that um, so I attended Catholic school and right off the bat I was always a person I'm an Aries so I'm always trying to decode and ask questions about things especially things that I feel I disagree with or that I don't understand completely things that you don't understand you ask questions right so attending Catholic school, asking questions is not, um, <laughs> it's not totally respected, uh, I would say by the religious teachers that you have. And I was lucky enough not to attend Catholic school where nuns were teachers. I had regular teachers, but they still pretty much followed the same kind of ethics as a nun would when it came to questioning Catholicism in any type of way, shape, or form. But of course, that wasn't going to stop me. <laughs> so uh, right off the bat from uh, middle school, um, I automatically was turned off from the teaching methods of Catholic school because when it comes to Catholicism in Catholic school, they try to pretty much uh, beat into your head that it is one way and it is the only way. And nobody was going to tell me that, you know, I have to choose one way and that was the only way. <laughs> so automatically that's where I, you know, I started rocking and rolling and my my brain started, you know, um, kind of trying to find new ways of life other than the ones they were teaching. So I was that kid in religion class who questioned everything you know i was the one who was like well what about dinosaurs yeah that was that was me and i was constantly reprimanded for this you know because science and religion when you attend catholic school is um they they pretty much are non-existent together you have a science class but uh religion class always you know comes first and science is just something that you have to learn during during your schooling. It's uh, I think it's part of the legal system of how school works. So, of course, I chose the scientific path 
um, first, before I found any type of spirituality, before I found Wicca, that came much later, that came in high school. But um, in middle school was where I was able to figure out pretty clearly that um, the Abrahamic religions were just not going to be for me. I felt zero connection uh, with uh, the idea of Jesus, and I felt zero connection with Catholicism and Christianity in general. Um, and, you know, that was fine for me. Uh, I did go through a span where, you know, I was so rebellious to it where, you know, I started delving into like the complete polar opposite. And in the beginning, I did look into, you know, uh, Satanism and just the complete polar opposite of what Catholicism was. And that ended up not being for me as well, because at the end of the day, I didn't believe in any of that. Um, I figured it all to be just I just didn't feel any connection with any of it. And the only reason I went the complete opposite was pretty much just to be rebellious and not to conform to any type of idea of Catholicism. Now, once I got to high school and, you know, I started to mature and be able to actually take the time to read up into things and not go off sheer emotion. Uh, I actually met uh, my my first girlfriend in high school. She was actually Wiccan. And of course, I I did not know too much about Wicca. I knew that it held, it had to do with witchcraft. And unfortunately, because even though I didn't conform and I didn't believe in it, it was beaten in my head for those previous four years or three years in middle school that you know, the idea of witchcraft was still in my head as something that had to do with evil. And it wasn't until, you know, she was able to show me um, exactly what Wicca entailed and the fact that Wiccans don't believe in any type of Abrahamic religion process or any type of Abrahamic belief system. And uh, that's when I, my, my, you know, my mind really started opening up to, you know, the idea of Wicca and the, the theology of Wicca and what it really stood for. And I automatically, I knew right then that this was a path that I would be interested in and a path that I would be willing to um, consider moving forward with. And to this day, I have not looked back. Now, when it comes to the idea, Firstly, I started off in just the the idea of nature worship itself. And, you know, I didn't know too much about the deities. I didn't know about the gods and goddesses yet. Um, and that came actually later on after high school. And it was it was perfect for me, just the way the timeline worked out. Now, how it changed my life is, I mean, that's a story just it, it's unbelievable for me personally. The person that I was in high school in the first couple years of college is totally different from who I am today. And I completely give that, excuse me, I completely give that um, to how Wicca affected my life. When I was in, after high school, I would say, uh, when I was pretty much who I was going to be, if it wasn't for the change, I was not like, I was definitely not the best of people. Um, and I had a serious issue with lying. That was like my thing. I don't know why it was just, I know there's a term for like someone who lies all the time. Like it's like, <laughs> but I would lie for things that I had no reason to lie about. Like if I would just tell the truth, it would be just fine. But I had an issue with that. And um, and that really affected my relationship with other people, especially females. I was a person who I was never physically abusive to women at all. Um, you know, my I mean, it was that would never be in my like, it's just not in my DNA. Like my dad and my parents taught me just way better than that. And I never I would never lay my hands on a female. But the emotional damage that I did to females was equally as bad, if not worse. 
because um, being a liar and being in relationships just does not, it, it's, it's just not going to work. Honesty is probably the most important thing, if not the import, most important thing in any relationship. And um, what I would do was anytime I felt that the relationship might be in jeopardy, I would find ways, I would find lies to find my way out of it. And, you know, I broke a few hearts by doing that. And it wasn't until I found my connection with a deity where all of that changed, all of that changed, because I found a new respect for the female energy, which changed everything. And I knew that, you know, once I, I learned about Wicca and that it is, you know, it's, you know, you believe in multiple gods and multiple goddesses, then that's when I had to, I felt my first connection. And once I knew that my connection was with the female energy more than anything, then I knew that my deity, once I found her or once she found me, would obviously be a female. And that's when things started changing for me when it came to relationship wise. And the deity that I found um, most interesting when I was doing my research on the gods and goddesses was Hecate, right, right from the beginning. I just had this connection with, um, you know, everything that she stood for in her story and the fact that she was the queen of witches. And I, that's who I began my studying. That's who I began my studies on. And, you know, every single day I became closer and closer to her. And I knew that I would have to wait for that, that one connection. And it's funny because, you know, especially people in Abrahamic religions, they will find that they, it's funny how they would say, you know, when you have that connection with a God or goddess, how weird that may sound, but they, you know, in Abrahamic religions, they have their same connection with their God, and it's absolutely no different. Now, I was still not the best of people, you know, during all this process until I had, you know, my one-on-one -on -one connection with Hecate. And that is a very personal um, moment in my life, so I won't go too deep into exactly how it happened, but I can tell you the feeling of, you know, when that did happen, I knew my life had changed forever. I had my moment with my goddess and it was a moment where I actually felt her spirit inside of me. And that's a feeling that you really can't describe. It's um, everybody, you know, once you have your connection with your deity, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it was it was unimaginable. And I remember how it felt till this day. And that happened for me probably a, probably close to 10 years ago now. And I've just, I've, I've never looked back. Um, now that I've had that connection with her, a lot of things have changed in my life. Uh, before that, I had another issue where I was, I was afraid of the dark. I was afraid of the dark for a long time. Um, and it was it was a sphere I had probably well into probably up until around my young 20s until this all happened. And ap immediately afterwards, I felt this protection that I never felt before, especially in the dark. And Hecate, you know, she is the light and she is the dark. And um, now anytime I'm in the dark, I almost feel safer than I do in the light, if that makes any sense. Um, because I feel that she's closer to me during the darkest time. And, uh, you know, I do have, I have a triple goddess medal around my neck, which always, I feel so almost naked if I don't have it on that I, it's almost to the point where I can't function because <laughs> I feel like that, that protection is completely gone. Um, so I wear it every day because it's just, 
it's that that comfort that I feel. It's almost like I can feel a hug from her whenever I have it on. I feel completely safe. And now this is the biggest change that I've had. And this came directly from her. And I know this came from her because it wasn't until after that connection where I have uh, began to experience something that means a lot to me, even though it's very hard to handle, but it, it means more than anything to me because I know that it's coming from her. The, the way that I treated females in the past, she has made it very clear that that was wrong. And now that we've had this connection and I've had this connection with the female energy, she has blessed me, I would say, with the basically the feeling of loneliness, the feeling of not having companionship. And I have been single now for a very pretty much almost five years. Um, and I think that is a direct result of what she wants me to feel. She wants me to feel that loneliness because I took advantage of, you know, companionship and I treated companionship and I almost like took advantage of it. Just the way, the same exact way that I took advantage of some of the people, some of the girls and women that I dated in the past. And at first, you know, I couldn't understand. I was like, why is it so long now where, you know, I've been lonely and, you know, I can't find anybody. And it's almost like no one is showing any interest in me at all. And that's when, you know, I did put two and two together and I realized what was happening. And, you know, in a way, I'm actually really happy that I'm experiencing this. And I'm extremely honored that, you know, my goddess would care enough to make me go through this and make me feel this so that, you know, she's making me feel it to the point where I'm never going to want to feel this way again. And no matter how long she, you know, makes me go through this, I will respect it and honor it and, you know, treat it as the lesson that I'm supposed to learn. And I couldn't be happier going through, like, I don't want to say I couldn't be happier, but um, in a way, yeah, I couldn't be happier that she has made me go through this because I know now in the future when she does lift this from me and she does allow me to find someone that I will, I will go about it completely different and I will have a newfound respect and um, I'll appreciate you know, companionship a lot more than I did because the way that I treated people was definitely not the way I'd want to be treated at all. And, you know, I, I feel good about that. I feel good now that I have, you know, gone through this lesson and, you know, I'm definitely ready for, you know, to find companionship again, but I'm also willing to wait as long as my goddess feels fit. And, you know, that was the biggest, uh, you know, change in my life when I found my goddess. Now, as far as just in general, how things have changed once I, you know, I found Wicca and I found my goddess. I mean, she, you know, when your goddess is, is just looking, looking out for you. It, it just happens when it's supposed to happen. And she makes sure that it happens when it's supposed to happen, not when you want it to happen. So if you are loyal to her and you show your devotion to her and you ask her for guidance, excuse me, or you ask her for help, she will be there and she will help you. And she will help you when the time is 100% necessary for you to be helped. But on the other hand, if you do not show your devotion to Hecate and you you know, you, you don't live your life the way, you know, you should be living it. She will hold these things from you. She will keep them from you so that you learn a lesson. And that is, like I said, that's one of the lessons that I'm going through still today. And she makes sure that you get it. She's not going to be light on you. She's definitely not that type of goddess. 
she will be stern with you and she's doing that out of sheer love and that's the best part about it because you feel that love through it you feel the tough love you feel that tough love and sometimes that's the strongest love you can feel and honestly that's been you know how i am like where i'm at today i could not be happier i could not um there's just I just know personally there would be no other deity that I would be able to connect with as much as I've connected with Hecate. And, you know, I, like I said, I, I honestly feel naked if I do not have just her symbol with me every day. Um, I'm, I'm not a tattoo person. I don't have any tattoos, but I did debate, like, if I were to get one, that would definitely be, I would definitely have her symbol on my body because to have her with me every day, even though she's with me every day anyway, just to feel that is just, it's, it's an amazing feeling. So that's basically my story on, um, you know, how I came into Wicca and how I found my deity and my goddess. And, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, hearing anybody else's story who's willing to share, you know, when they came into uh, paganism, any type of paganism. It doesn't have to strictly be Wicca. It could, you know, just anything that, you know, once you found your spirituality, how it affected your life. I would love to hear everybody else's stories. If you're willing to share, I'd love to. To what I'm going to do is I will ask you to kind of just, you know, send an email. Um, I'll, I'll leave my email in the description. And then if you want to send your stories to my email and I'd be very happy to read them and give you a shout out on the channel. All right. So uh, that's it. That's our very first episode. Can't wait to um, hear everybody else's story and, you know, build a little community here on the community coven on which is connected. All right. Hope everybody has a fantastic night. God is blessed and blessed be.